I wouldn't trade my job for anything, and in many ways I kind of envy where you guys are right now. Because although things are really dicey and things are really chaotic and changing in the industry, there's also this kind of Wild West mentality out there where there's all sorts of new kinds of journalism being developed before every day and every week. The, the best days of journalism are ahead of us, not behind us, because instead of just having two or three models to choose from, TV, radio, public relations, newspapers, there are going to be so many more uh, opportunities. The businesses more than ever understand that they need to have relationships with people, and you do that through public relations. So I think there's a very promising uh, future for people uh, in, in areas beyond what you might say is the traditional journalism fields. The question should be not, is it going to die, but what are we going to do with it? What is this destiny that's ahead of us? It's really in all of your hands. If you want to go into journalism, or uh, if you want to go into public affairs, public relations, your focus needs to be doing your schoolwork and getting as much experience as you can all the way through. If there's something that really uh, piques your interest and it's available, I give it a shot. Because you, by the time you get out of um, your undergrad, it's all going to be about experience. And you really need to make sure that you're using every extra month that you have off in your classwork or every summer to actually do something in this field. I, I would take every internship I could, every summer, any kind of break you've got, anything you can put on your resume that shows your employer that A, you have ambition, B, that you have experience, have, is, is, is uh, really helpful. Cover letters should be very precise, very business-like. You should make sure that there's something there that shows that you've done your research, that you know that the position you're applying for is a good fit for you and here's why. They see a typo in a resume, they're just going to pitch that off to the side. They're looking for reasons to dump something onto the floor because there's many qualified candidates. What we are looking for increasingly are people who have a really strong news gathering, writing, reporting experience but also, what are you doing in terms of, have you done campaigns on Facebook? Have you done blogs? Have you posted to other blogs? Um, you know, where, what could you contribute in the arena of social media? You can try to be an entrepreneur. You can try to start your own publication. I mean, right now is a perfect time to start experimenting with things like that. I kind of did the safe and boring thing, which was go work for one newspaper and then another newspaper. Now I would have had a little more guts, I think, and I wish I wish I would have taken a flyer on something like that. Um, you know, if you're able to do so, you kind of have the uh, if you can live on a shoestring for a while, um, you know, people will do something fun. At the end of the day, you have an opportunity to build relationships with people in all walks of life, no matter what you're doing. And oftentimes those relationships can lead to something. They can lead to learning about an opportunity or you know, somebody will put in a good word for you. And now with social media, with Facebook and everything, when you meet people, connect with them, stay in touch with them. And I think that that has benefited a lot of people in more recent years.